Well, Aqua Garden, we've been in operation for two years now. Started it with my two good high school friends, all from Amory, Wisconsin. We always knew we wanted to do something based on like local food production. We were just big believers that if something was going to be eaten somewhere, it can be produced there and it can provide jobs for that area. So we thought we could provide a really healthy food for our local area. And we started to hear about certain things like recirculating aquaculture and that people were fish farming salmon and shrimp and all these things. We liked the idea of growing fish and plants in the same building. So when we were first interested in aquaponics, everything's written in for tilapia. Didn't feel like that super aligned with our mission and what we wanted to do. So then we started to do our own research and look into the early walleye aquaculture manuals and then the things that UWC and Point NADF has put together. Being able to dive into the walleye video manual was a huge deal for us because if that walleye video manual doesn't exist, then I have to start raising walleye. I don't know what temperature, I don't know how much to feed them, I don't know you know, the flow rate of the tank or anything like that. So it puts you so far ahead to have those videos out there. It's so important to start uh, from a place of understanding and you can't do that without those video manuals. And so we knew we could grow a Wisconsin fish that was in high demand that wasn't really being produced and then produce a ton of crops on the other end. Walleye industry is in a huge need for research. It is an industry that has so much demand. It is our attention getter. When people hear we're raising walleye, that's what gets their uh, excitement up. So people want to see American production of walleye. They want that availability. Research and development in walleye that is able to be done at NADF through Wisconsin Sea Grant. Uh, can't even tell you how hugely important it is. So far, when I see the experiments, they do line up to what we are curious about in the future, uh, whether it's cold banking fish and what that does for harvest cycles, or can we get our growth rates up by selective broodstock, all those things that can be directly used that the experiment couldn't be done with private equity. You know, we would not be able to have a supply of feed train walleye if we didn't have NADF. All of the fish we have when we have two different cohorts, one from this year that we just got two months ago from UW Stevens Point NADF, and then uh, again last year from a cohort from NADF. So we are actually able to annually harvest them and start to you know dip our toes in the market of fresh fillets for people, um, which we wouldn't have access to without the Wisconsin Sea Grant funding. So I think it's just hugely important that there is a continuous attention to, to walleye and uh, that the research builds upon itself into the future. We're working on scaling up our fish production. We have had nothing but really positive reviews on the walleye taste, texture, everything. Two years in operation and our fish and our plants are as happy and healthy as they've ever been.